Hello and welcome to Keyboard Noises once again. Anyways, in this episode, well, I done some grinding over the episode. As you can see, I got ourselves a sheep, and yeah, I was doing some pink sheep, pinky sheep stuff. Then we got ourselves a chicken over here. Uh, we built about town, as you can see, a little bit because it's whiter than before. And I got loot bags to open, so let's do that. As you can see, we got a lot of loot bags, so let's begin opening them. And let's go outside for, well, it's getting nighttime, so let's just skip to daytime. Actually, I need to show you before we start opening. So, uh, you know this hammer? I don't know if I showed it in the last episode, but I got this. It also explodes, plus mines stone and yeah, acts like a pickaxe. So Master Hammer Smash is really a Master Hammer Smash. Also, I want in this episode to go to the nether because, well, we still didn't explore the nether. Like, you know, I mean, it's been like, what, 3, 4 episodes, 5 episodes? But yeah, we have obsidian, so why not use it in good use? Like, we have flint and steel somewhere over here. Yep, that's correct. So yeah, let's begin. So we have a lumberjack bag. We got a jungle sapling, acacia wood, and dark oak wood. Okay, nothing interesting. Old quiver. One arrow of weakness. Only one. Okay. Wait a second. How does the bow... Oh, whoa. Shoot which... Never mind. Record back. Okay, let's see which record we can get. We got... Stall. Oh. And mall. Stall and mall. Nice. Book bag, we got Eternal Compass, what? No description found. I have no idea what it does. I guess the internet is only option. Food bag, one pork chop, and one cooked pork chop, raw beef, and one baked potato. We haven't eaten any of this. And if I'm correct, I get those, you know, orange hearts when I eat new stuff, so yeah. That's a motivation to eat more. And last is our bag. One iron, two lapis lazuli. Oh, exactly, that's what we needed. I wanted to make... Where is the quest? I wanted to make the lapis lazuli block, so let's do that too. And I almost forgot we got uh, those gifts, so let's open them too. One, two, three. Oh, got what? Oh, that was a firework. And we got two more fireworks. Okay, I guess we are in the festive zone now. And I'm opening them fast, so I don't know what I'm getting. Oh, mini spice, holy spirit. Okay. And firework. And a lot of food. Okay, let's go into nether. So yeah, we are going into nether and don't ask how I got on fire because, yeah. And we are here. So, what do we have here? What is this? Nether quartz ore. Okay, and what is that? Uh, fossilized... What? Pigmentosaurus poo? What? Okay, it's pinkly sheep stuff. Mob zapper. Wait a second, can I zap mobs? Like... You know, zone them out from my house. That sounds interesting. What is this? More fossilized spew. I guess that's... I don't know. Interesting. And more fuel. Bleaching crystal or what? Okay, that's new. So, what do you do? Bleaching crystal ore. Bleaching powder. Terracotta. Okay, glass. Oh, so it's basically just bleach. Okay, I mean... I get what it does, so yeah. Interesting. If we ever need to bleep something, we can do. Nether gold ore. Wait, does this mod... Mod, mod has the, you know... Nether ores, where the pigments and stuff gets mad. What is that? Can I tame that? Obviously not. But hey, he dropped blaze powder and... Raw wolf meat. Okay, that's... Not what I wanted to see, but what is that? 
And what is that too? Okay, looks like it takes a while to mine, so let's hope it drops something. Okay. Primordial Palescot. Found rarely. And... What does it do? Um, okay, it doesn't say a lot. But what are you? Nether gold or deposit? What? What am I doing? I'm confused. Is it dropping or is it not dropping? Looks like there's only gold ore in the nether. But what is this? Nether amethyst ore? What? How many things I didn't find in the ore world if there are so much variants of, you know, nether this, nether that. Hmm, interesting. Okay, what is that guy holding over there? Is that a... Oh my god, there's so much... I mean, you see? If Mojang would add only this little to nether, the game would change drastically. Like, look how many things there are suddenly, like new ores, new mobs, like wolf dog or... Nether salt? What? Oh, I guess that's the ore world salt, no? Rock salt crystals, I think, yes. And that's a dog. Come on, or wolf. And the nether quartz ore, okay, we mined that, we know what that is. But what is that? Will I regret this? Let's find out. Well, not really, I was kind of expecting more. Yay, I got a heart. You see, the more I eat, the more I get. And what is this? Oh, we can grow glowstone. Okay. The more I go, the more I get confused. What is this? Glow current. Can I eat it? Okay, I can, but of what use is that to me? And there's a tree, and there's another tree, and... Oh my god, I'm gonna be so lost. Like, I'm already lost. I can't lose my portal. I don't know why or what mod adds those swords. But like, it looks so wonky. Like, I prefer 2D swords. Oh, and there's another guy. And flowering magma. What did I expect? To not get burned in another? Can I drink that? Okay, we are back where we started, so let's drop off our inventory and we'll be right back. And we are back over here and are those magma cubes? Okay, I expected that. But hey, look, magma cubes. I mean, I always get excited for magma cubes because, you know, they dropped gifts. What? The gas sounds so weird. Anyways. That they drop, you know, magma cream, but you can get magma cream by combo. <laughs> okay, you remember the last let's play? Where we spawned like exactly behind the fortress? Well, it happened again. I mean, my luck is unmatched, and oh, there's a big magma cube, and there's a wither skeleton, and there's a blaze spawner. Okay, everything is getting nicely. What this? I don't know, I hear, I think I hear Blaze, but look, watch this Wither Skeleton. Watch him. You see, he's floating up, floating up, floating up, floating up. Bye bye. And if he died, I wouldn't die. Oh, there's another one. I, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't see you. Where, oh, I. <laughs> Also, the ghasts. Oh, what? How far? What, what, what is that? Okay, I'm scared. Also, the blazes uh, float up way, way faster. How far are you shooting me from? That's like other side of the map, my guy. And yeah, you see that? Where did the other fireball come from? Okay, okay, I'm gonna own you and you gave me oh a diamond oh that's my <laughs> arrow and where is the slime okay he's not over here there's a dog over here and he just fell down okay you're smart 
There's glowstone, there's more, more stuff. Well, I don't know, let's explore. You know, I have no idea what any of this is. Reinforced high strap. Of course, notification comes. Golden name tag. Used to rename irreparable and X enchanted items. What is X enchanted item? And what is unrepairable item? And why would I want an unrepairable night item well named? So many things, but so little answers. Damn, the place is breathing sounds so scary because... Okay, I don't want to kill you because it likes echoes around. Where? What? Okay, don't shoot me please. I'm just trying to do my thing. And you know, wait, I need to take the shield. And bam! <laughs> so funny. Oh, that looks like another quartz pillars. Or oh, I mean obsidian pillars. So we might need to mine that, you know, because of the achievement. Like that looks like a viable option because, you know, I was thinking where could we get all the obsidian we need for the quest. Oh, oh, oh okay, okay, come, come down, come down. I guess he gave up. Oh no. Come on. No, I don't want to be on fire. No, thank you. Hello, chest. And please give me good loot. What? Vanishing sword? Less durable diamond sword found only as loot. Smite and a fire aspect. Mm, I mean, this... I mean, why? It's bad. Minus 10% attack damage. Minus 10 dick speed. Horse armor. Enchanted book imperishable. No item description again. And what am I supposed to do? Guess what those things do? I'm not a visionary. Okay, boys, we have another chest and another chance for good loot. Totem mod overturning. Okay, what? Mithril mace. What is this now? Imperishable again and heart of gold. Wait, does that give me hearts? Oh, is, are those permanent hearts? Wait a second. Heart of gold. Okay, in end city and nether fortresses. But wait, I'm confused. Did that give me permanent health boost or no? Nah? And what is this? Mithril mace. Does this... No, it doesn't do anything interesting. And it's weaker. Oh, here comes the FPS drops. Then the master hammer smosh and... Oh, there's another chest over there. Let's go there. Apparently, I can't get inside of this room without breaking in, which is a shame because, you know, or maybe I can, who knows. Because I like to keep things untouched as much as possible I can. Gold battle axe. Well, at least it's sharp. Lit on sight? What? What is that? It has a different color name than, you know, the normal weapon. Bleaching crystal and a bone. Okay. What do you do? Do you have any special ability? So far I don't see it. And just as we turn around the corner there's another chest. Epic mega loot case. Crate, case, whatever. And a shield with a... What? Okay, like... I know a lot of things but... Shield having a knockback. And a notification and minus 5 speed. Huh. Yeah, how about we just make a new shield? And the golden glaive. Okay, that's nothing interesting. But who knows, we need really to find a nether ward to brew the potions to, you know, do basically... Okay, I'm gonna turn it off. So the only good thing I found, well, other than epic mega loot case, is wall blaze spawner. I still haven't... Ah, oh, I still haven't found, you know, Okay, I I don't know how, but my notifications get turned on automatically. Anyways, the only thing I still haven't found is Nether Ward. And I don't know if Nether Ward can be found naturally, but looks like the... F Wait a second, is that another fortress? Okay. So, you know, I was looking and I just realized I can actually upgrade my backpack to an iron backpack. Which honestly would be 
really really good considering you know our backpack gets filled in a like second exploring so let's go home and do that uh, okay there's the bone structure and there's more bones hmm but i hope there's another art in the other nether fortress so let's go <laughs> let's do let's go upgrade our backpack and we'll be right back oh and before i go back i want to collect this tree to see what does it say so it's ash and wood and looks like i can mine it and we get ash and wood planks now since it's smoking is there some other use to it other than well looking cool there's a campfire wait is this in the village and pillage update i didn't even check out the mod pack toys drum what i didn't even look what kind of version is this game hmm colossal chest wall i need to look into what those colossal chests are because you know we are kind of having problems with the storage space and our house is pretty small what is this so we can okay we can make tools but wait a second the axe does 10 hearts of damage and the sword does 5 hearts of damage okay and we witherbone helmet i mean it looks cool but is it really that worth it frosted witherbone what oh whoa okay frosted witherbone wait a second what can we i'm confused raven heart sword how many swords are there let me just check that oh dear jesus god lord what the hell is this how do i pick heroic armory pinkly sheep swords okay i have no idea which one of those swords is good but they all look decent i guess and with enchants they can really shine venomous sword okay and looks like all of those swords have curse of vanishing so if we die we lose the sword that's not good okay but does the axe okay i'm confused what any of this does but let's clear our inventory and get back and i have no idea what is as you can see what are those particles flying like i had this event or whatever it is before and it was like i was in void but I have no idea which mod adds that and what does it do. Okay, let's check out that stock mushroom. What? I get three from them. Okay. Wait a second. What was that? Advanced. Okay. I'm not gonna question that. And this is the blazing wood. Honestly, I think it will burn me. Who knows? It doesn't burn me. And it gives cool wood planks. Nice. So what can we do with you? Well, other than do stuff we normally can, there's nothing interesting other than... Oh, it smells 1.5 items. I guess that's... I don't know. More than normal wood? I'm dumb. Oh, and oh, endermans. You know we need you. I'm gonna take your ender poles, kindly. And... A little bit of FPS drops but lately I noticed I'm not getting so much FPS drops also this thing yeah I told you already but it can work as a pickaxe too so it explodes it can work as a pickaxe it can work as a weapon it has everything you need to survive hmm you know maybe this wood is resistant to lava I didn't think about that blazing or shit okay i guess that's gonna burn me and i so so want to fight those pigments really really want can you hit come on can you hit him oh you're not shooting now eh well fair game fair game and it's like i sense there's a chest over here and am i dumb i just realized you know what pigments hold is probably this <laughs> A golden hammer and well 
you know when the mobs use weapons they ignore you know hitting like slowly and they, they do the same damage oh rare mega loot case okay we are getting a lot of stuff for the end of the episode so that's gonna be interesting but we yes no yes no wait what what we really need is really 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 this God, thank you. I found cells. Um, netherrack, netherward. And what can we make with you? Absolutely nothing. Oh, mycelium. <laughs> I get excited and then I remember I have a my mycelium, uh, you know, island near me. Air the one ward composter. Okay. Cauldron. Wait, I can make potions inside of a cauldron. Okay, that's new. Also, yes, I upgraded my backpack to gold backpack, so look at all this space. Now we can travel around, you know, the nether all day and have enough inventory left. Okay, I want to get up there to you guys. So let's just skip to there. Okay, more nether work in the site. Let's just collect it all and go. Oh, hello there. What are you? Reinforced Wither Skeleton. Oh great. Instead of hitting you two times, I now need to hit you 50 times. Actually, oh there's a chest. Can I explode you? And no head I guess. Okay, one chest, two chest. Loot chest, bad chest. Okay, let's check out the other one. No one here? Okay, no one here? Hmm. Big Maceros Poo. Great loot. You know loot is shit when you literally get shit for loot. What is this? Fire nether netherrack? Flamer? Huh? I mean, I guess since it's part of dungeon tactics and as far as I remember or realize the dungeon tactics are, you know, nether quartz or... are... well... A dungeon mod that lets you create a dungeon with loot and traps and that's a blaze spawner did I just one shot that guy somehow I did and I have no idea how okay anyways that's just like a lot of traps nothing interesting but looks like we had two blaze spawners over here which Oh god, is it always a plus? And you are normal skeleton. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> that was nice. I want more loot chests. Don't shoot me. Okay, drop my FPS, but just don't kill me. I don't appreciate getting knocked around by the blaze, powder, rods, whatever. There's a whole new biome over there that I'm interested in, but the way there is not really a safe one so meet you over there or actually not because there's a huge lava lake between me and that and what is that something hanging from the sky okay yeah i'm not crossing that that's too dangerous for me oh god oh god oh god that's not good but what two magma cubes just spawned Let's just kill them. Okay, that's a lot of magma cubes and that pig man is getting really close to me. I don't like that. Because that can mean trouble. Yeah, come over here. I don't want to hit the pig man accidentally. And where did the other pepper go? Okay, it looks like we lost the other slime. But that's okay. Ow. Oh, actually, you know, I don't need to go to... Don't need to go to that biome because that's biome. That biome is actually over here. Which this looks like way less of a danger to cross than the other huge lake with the potential for a gas to shoot us down. Okay, what is this? Red Elder Mushroom Cap. And Harvestable with Axe. Okay. And can we do something with you? Jesus God. Okay, now that's 
there is an interesting mob I never seen before. So where did I put my shield? Is it in Okay stop. Phone stop. Vibrations, notifications, stop. But anyways, we need our shield. And let's go conquer those guys. They look dangerous. Wait, is that a mob? Okay. I mean, he looks dangerous, but what is the point of you? Obviously, you're not dangerous. Can I trade with you? I can't. Okay, fuck off, pigman. I'm not scared of you. Do you hurt? You don't hurt. I'm actually disappointed. And there were two wither skeletons, but there's not only one. What a shame. Okay, so... That's weird, but... Hmm. Where shall we go now? What should we explore? Pigments, we cool, we cool, okay. You don't want to murder me? So far? Okay, so you know, the, the guy that spins doesn't hurt you. But this thing hurts you. And what can I make with you? Absolutely nothing. Really. No, there's no use for it, other than being, well, danger to environment. And, oh, those guys spawn again, let's kill them. I mean, I guess you should be dangerous, but maybe you're just broken. Who knows? Do you even drop something? Like, you spawn as enemies. But if I can farm you easily for XP and stuff, then why the fuck not? It's free real estate. Okay, we are back in the nether fortress and one more chest to go. Okay, so we found imperishable book, living book, imperishable master, sisters, pummel, what? Okay, curse of what? Rusting? I guess that might be like they wear down faster, sweeping edge. And, huh. You know, I'm gonna take that and try to use that, because that sounds interesting. And I'm gonna put living enchantment on my master smash hammer. Or maybe this is a better, who knows? Let's try it, let's find a mob and... Oh. Okay, there's another chest. <laughs> let's check out this. Gold short sword. Okay, that sounds bad, because you know, it's gold, so it's gonna die really fast. And golden sisters. But this looks way better than this, like... Tell me, which looks more legendary, like this block thingy or this thing? Yeah, this looks way better. Let's find an enemy to hit with. Hello, pigments, blazes, anyone? I hear you around, but I don't see you around. Oh, hello! And we killed him in two hits. I guess that's good. Who knows? One minus one reach distance. Well, that's not really that bad. I can live with that because, you know, you need to fight enemies up close anyways. And look at those guys. They spawned like two guards. Well, let me just hit you with my sisters. Okay, that minus one reach is really hitting me. You know, I, w I was thinking like minus, what, minus one reach distance, it's not that much, but they basically need to be in your face for you to hit them, so I guess thank you, but not thank you. This can be an emergency weapon if we really need one, if we die and lose our stuff and all of that shit. You know, I might just stream, you know, the gathering of this quest because, yeah. Getting 128 obsidian seems like a possible and interesting idea to stream over here because why not? We are surrounded in lava, we may die, we may lose our stuff, so who knows what happens. Or if I will do it, but I want to get that quest, I want to get the grind going on, you know. I want to get a better sword, like I'm not saying this is bad, I like this actually. Because it one-shots most of the things when I hit them. But yeah, I want to buy a cooler looking sword that doesn't have Bane of Arthropods 5. Because, let's be honest, other than lag spikes killing me, what can I do with this thing? Own spiders, nothing else. 
and I want to own, you know, other things like zombies, skeletons, and all those good stuff. Okay, that's following me because I don't have inventory, but that's not a problem because, you know, we have a gold backpack. Okay, what? What is killing? Kill? I have no idea, but I just got achievement from, you know, mining those blocks. What? Can I make with you that is interesting? Absolutely nothing. By the looks of it, other than oh, there's a lot of blocks to make cool things with. You know, this mud pack has it all: it has adventuring, has villages, has items, interesting stuff for building. Like whatever you can think about, it's small mod pack. Well, if you can call it small, 140 mods, but. Yeah, it has a lot of stuff that we might enjoy and I'm really enjoying the change from like just, you know, normal bland Minecraft because let's face it, we all love Minecraft, that's nothing new, but what we don't love is how Minecraft is boring. Like vanilla Minecraft, you play it a hundred times and there's nothing to do, like you get your diamond tools, you get your armor, you build a house and what is there more to do? You can explore, but to what extent? You get nothing, absolutely nothing. Finding a woodland mansion? Absolutely impossible. I mean, new ships? Interesting, but not that much. The nether? Finally getting updated. But yeah, you get the point. Minecraft normal is really, really boring. But you know what's not boring is watching creepers being scared of sun, because they burn in sun those motherfuckers oh god oh what the hell just happened okay also before we end this episode there's one more thing that's not boring and that is opening loot items so we got coal and we got um chicken and what else a firework rocket, okay, rare mega loot case, an epic mega, let's open rare mega loot case, bam. Okay, what is that? Upgrades, five, the flat nose, mining a little diamond, wait, is it an axe? Or is it a pickaxe? What is this? Let's test it out. Damn, son, that's really fast. Do you have any special effects? No? And how much them? Oh. Okay. And let's open the epic mega loot case. Ham bam. Uh, venom. Shoots three arrows. Oh. Wait, three at one spot? Okay, and wait another second Those arrows don't need arrows to work or do they? Oh, yeah, they do Can I pick them up? No, I can't Let's just actually see how much damage does these do Yeah, that's what I thought it would do Because when you shoot more than two arrows at a mob that even in vanilla minecraft the other arrows just bounce off because for some reason when you shoot something and he takes damage he can't multiply damage so yeah and we got a quiver and arrow of harming nice anyways yeah thank you guys for watching another episode you know i hope you enjoyed exploring nether and whatnot if you did you know what to do a little like share subscribe and all those good things and oh look at our village 32 people those guys are braiding like rabbits so my next episode we might have double of that population who knows but anyways yeah that's that see you guys next time and have a nice day bye